Hey guys, how you doing? Um, let's do some more experiments with the uh, Super Display and see... Today I want to see how, how fast Super Display is or um, how low or high the latency is when you connect it to another computer. I mean, obviously Super Display you have to connect to another computer, so it goes with that thing. But anyways, this is a uh, Tab S6. This is a uh, Notebook 9 Pro Samsung. They both use EMR, uh, Wacom, uh, UD series. Uh, one single pen is going to go jump bit between back and forth. And obviously I got Clip Studio running here. Let me connect Super Display. And now it's mirrored. So you got the same thing running on both. Hopefully you can see both screens. I'll try not to shake it too much, but it's uh, my camera is sort of precariously perched. Um, all right, so and I have my um, Wacom Express Key remote, so I don't need the keyboard to do most of the stuff. Um, I have the obviously same canvas. It's six thousand by four thousand. Uh, let's see, there you go, six thousand by four thousand. But I'm going to zoom in to where it's 4,000 this way right now. Um, and if I remember correctly, it's a, it's, it's a chalk brush with 50 pixels wide and the um, size expression is completely pressure-based. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but and the um, minimum size at 33% ish, 34. And the opacity is also completely pressure based, but uh, minimum is zero. So if you do really light pressure, it's almost starting from nothing. Okay. So uh, try to watch as I jump back and forth and see if you notice any latency difference. So. You can see that uh, it's mirroring, obviously. So obviously this is the native, this is the computer itself that's doing the calculation, so it's gonna be immediate. And what shows up here is fairly close, if not almost this, I mean, it's not gonna be almost yeah, exactly the same. It's, there's gonna be some latency here because the display information is passed. Um, Let's go the other way. So, uh, let's see if I can see a oh boy so far. Okay. So, I'm going to draw here and see how fast it comes up here. More importantly, um, how responsive it is on this side. Because, obviously, I'm not going to be watching this to draw. But maybe, I, well, let's try that. Like, let me if I see if I can... It's kind of weird because it's like, you know, um, not watching where I draw again, like using a regular tablet, but yes, yeah, I can do this. Um, if I can coordinate my, uh, you know, it's, it's like back in those days when I was using a non-screen tablet, but it's, it's very responsive. I don't know if you can tell that. So if I'm now looking here and drawing, I mean, that's, that's faster than some native Clip Studio action I have on some of my slower computers, so. I mean, I don't, I don't really see the latency enough that's hampering what I'm doing. So, um... Every time I tap undo, the camera's shaking like crazy. Um, again, I'm drawing. I mean, it feels immediate enough that I'm looking for difference, but it's it's by the time I'm sort of switching my eyes back and forth, I, I can hardly tell any difference. So, um, 
to me, this feels Yeah, almost the same. I mean, it's it's pretty remarkable if you if you ask me. It's it's. I know it has to go through, from this OS, process the video, send it out, and this computer now receives the video signal from this computer and then displays it. There's got to be some latency, and there is, but it's so minute that I don't really. I mean, you get used to it super quick, and after a while, it's not a big deal. Uh, for instance, if I'm if this feels faster going through Super Display, uh, feels faster than say drawing natively on like five year old laptop hardware that I still have, but I mean, it's just it's unusable um, compared to this. So here, here, here. This is not a small canvas. This is 4,000 pixels from top to bottom. This is a 50 pixel chalk brush. I mean, if this is not good enough for you, then I don't know. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. If I was in a situation where I had non-penabled computer, and I just had my tablet here to connect to for the the uh, you know the entire tablet duties, it, it would be fine. I could I could definitely work. I mean, obviously, bigger the screen is better. And this is only 10 inch, but 10 inch is still doable given that you can relegate all the other stuff here. You know, the references, email, whatever, uh, files, whatever, and just do the drawing here. Now, if you, if you are uh, able to afford the S7 Plus, that's 12 inch, and that bridges the gap even more. So this would be about yay much bigger. Even better, right? Um, so let's say you got um, you got like twenty five hundred dollar budget, but you can't find any uh, computer with a pen like this with decent horsepower. You need, let's say you need forty five watt CPU. Uh, you're doing some three D content, and you 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 have you need discrete graphics, and you need thirty two gigs of RAM. There isn't really anything with pen for under. Four grand. I mean, the only thing I can think of is um, the Acer Concept D9. That thing's like five grand, four grand, five grand, depending on uh, the version, I guess. But uh, and that's like you know, 17-inch laptop, right? Or or you can get a like a nice Ryzen uh, 4000H series laptop with like a discrete graphics, right? For twelve hundred dollars, you get the um, S7 Plus for about thousand, and you're good. You 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 can carry both around. It's the, the together it won't be that crazy amount to carry around, right? And you can get the work done. You have two monitors, great for productivity. The pen action is very fluid, going through Super Display, fantastic. And you can even do crazy configurations like this. Uh, you don't even have to do, the only reason I'm doing obviously mirrored is to compare A to B here. But you can do multiple displays obviously, you can do extended display here, and you can put other stuff here. Great uh, usage scenario, I, I think it's perfectly uh, viable option then. Uh, this uh, scenario where you, you're, you're trying to get a nice pen enabled Two in one, and listen. I, this is an old laptop. 
I still love this thing because it's got the best pen. It's got the Wacomi MR. But, you know, it, if I want to get a more beefier CPU, I mean, this is 8550U, 15 watt processor. So if I, if I want to do a crazy amount of computation, this is going to struggle. But if I have a $1,200 regular laptop um, uh, with a beefy processor, you know, then you can just get the S7 Plus, attach it, you're good. Um, maybe you want to just make sure that the beefy laptop has touch screen just to go back and forth, or maybe, I don't know. Or you can just get one of these, it could work. Uh, that, that'd be fine. Or you can just do keyboard shortcuts, because you know I'm only doing it this way to go back and forth within the camera shot. But obviously, in a normal scenario, you just have it as a laptop, using the keyboard for shortcuts, and then this will be side by side doing the tablet work. So um, that that is very, I'm convincing myself right now. So if I, if I were to buy a new laptop, I wouldn't really anymore constrain myself to <coughs> having a pen enabled laptop anymore. I'd be perfectly fine with a normal laptop because now I can attach something like S7 Plus <coughs> via this app, Super Display, and I'm having great time using the pen here. I'm having no problem with the latency. Um, hey, let's try one more thing before this video is over. So I'm gonna uh, take this laptop away. Or no, no, let's keep it, let's keep it. But I'm going to change the orientation. This might get a little hairy. Um, so I'm going to say landscape. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to uh, try to do this without screwing everything up. But okay, here we go. We uh, kasha. So now what I'm trying to do is, let's just concentrate on this one. We know it's being mirrored for Super Display. Uh, can't zoom in any more than this, but all right, let's try to get the camera a little more full, full frame. Okay, it's a little bit tilted. Yikes. Uh, all right. Hope that's good enough. Uh, and then I am going to go back to the desktop here okay so this is going on here okay again it's 6,000 by 4,000 right you guys know that um, but this is an app running on S7 uh, S, S6 right now so if I go here I got another instance another app the actual uh, Android version of uh, Clip Studio so I got Clip Studio going through the laptop through Super Display there, and I have native Clip Studio on the uh, on the tablet here. Okay, so um, it's gonna, I guess, get it out of the memory here. So let's just, and this is 6,000 by 4,000 again. And uh, let's see, it's also chalk that uh, with the same parameters, uh, 40 pixels, let's make that. Um, shortcut, 50 pixels, uh, there you go, okay, so same, oh shit, did I just make 120 pixels, Jesus, why is it doing that, 50, please, 50, no, 50, or is that 50, okay, that's 50, alright, that's confusing, 50 pixels, uh, the... Size parameter is 33, close enough, 33, 34 with pressure. Um, and density, also pressure is zero. So that's basically the same pen. Um, okay, so this is native. Running on S6. Fast fluid, obviously, right? Let's jump back to... Super display via computer connected.
there is probably slight difference, but it's really hard to tell like in this jumping back and forth scenario. If I was doing A to B right side by side, maybe I can tell. But this is smooth, silky, no problem. Just as uh, fluid experience as native. I mean, sh I, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, shit, give these, th give this guy fifteen bucks is what I'm, I'm telling you. I, I have no affiliation with this person, but he made a kick-ass app for fifteen bucks that makes your, you know, equipment that much more useful. I mean, he deserves this money. I think this is fantastic. This is, this is going through the computer. This is the computer doing the job. And the app is passing along the pressure pen information and getting back the display information from the laptop. This is fluid. This is just as fine. This is just fine. Again, go back to native. Obviously fluid. I mean, you wouldn't expect any less. But is it like noticeably different than going through a super display? No, I don't think so. I, I, I'm, I, I am amazed at the performance that I'm getting uh, through super display. So um, hopefully that uh, gives you more in sort of idea of the latency involved uh, in this setup. Uh, it's pretty fucking impressive. Uh, the app is. 15 bucks, but it's got three day trial. Try it. See if I'm crazy or do you, you feel the same way? Um, I think you'll be impressed as well. So, all right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.